support it. Uh, I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to express my gratitude with your money. Um, and so, and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna tip the shit out of your bartenders, um, and you're gonna buy. You're gonna buy tickets to another event here. Um, might I recommend Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what's the date on that? It's the twenty. Twentieth. Four twenty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> come see, come see Laura Jane Grace and the Devouring Mothers on 420 in this beautiful last venue. I'm not gonna tell you to like spark up a fucking child's leg dang cush to your fucking dome before you come here because that would be illegal. I would never tell you to do that. But like, what I'm saying is that if you wanted to take uh, a just just like a, a fucking like table leg. Just like, just like use that as your as your form. Just like rolled up a fucking dube full of just stinkiest, cushiest, cushiest cush. And then and then smoke that and take off to space before you come here. Uh, I think that'd be a good night. And you should maybe plan for that now by buying those tickets and coming back here because this is a great place and I love it. Great, thank you. All right. So, yeah. That was weird. Thanks. <laughs> Can you do the uh, future thing? That's yeah. That's what's up. That's what. That's that's, that's what. It's, yeah, yeah. I got you, yeah. Travis. Yes. Yes. I got you, Travis. Hell yeah. Yeah. You took a bunch of whiskey to the face, so I'm gonna do this part for you. <laughs> <coughs> All right, y'all, this is my last poem. Um, I know, uh, I'm sure it's obvious, but I'm like very mentally ill. Uh, <laughs> same. Uh, I'm fucking hella crazy, dude. Um, I was I was diagnosed with OCD when I was 11, <clears throat> and bipolar disorder when I was 21, and um, through yeah. Hey, <laughs> um, and like, yeah, I mean, OCD is an anxiety disorder, you know, um, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you've got some PTSD, um, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah, great, excellent, yes, A plus, yes. You know, um, no, 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 it's fine, let me just, I'm just doing a thing, um, no, no, you're fine. What's been your curfew? Can I do one more poem before I do this? Is that cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I got you. Of course. All right. Uh, I haven't done this poem in a while, but I think I know it. Um, and you seem, uh, yeah. No, no, no. You don't have to be embarrassed at all. Um, I'm sure that you're not the only one in this room that needs to hear this, so let's do this. I've been hearing that the world is ending. I've heard it so much these days that I can either completely ignore it or never leave my house again. That is, if I actually left my house for things that don't directly enable me to keep my house. See, I've been thinking about driving nowhere. I've been thinking about becoming a box inside a locked room, inside a dark house at the dark end of the street. I want to go away until I'm gone. It takes so much less energy to not exist than it does to exist and get burned. I've been burned so much, I'm not me anymore. I'm a stupid puppet version of me. I got strings that lead to nowhere. Nothing is pulling on me. I wish someone would drag my hand out of hiding and sign my name on the dotted line. There are days when I can't find the sun even though it's right outside my goddamn window. When getting out of bed, it feels like a key in the doomsday machine. So, on those days, this is what I tell myself. Whatever you're feeling right now, there's a mathematical certainty that someone else is feeling that exact thing. This is not to say you aren't special. This is to say, thank God you aren't special. I, too, have kissed no one goodnight. I've launched myself from tall places and hoped no one would catch me. I've ended relationships because suddenly I was also exposed, but isolation is not safety, it's death. If no one knows you're alive, you aren't. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it, it does make a sound, but then that sound is gone. I'm not, I'm not saying you'll find the meaning of life in other people. 
I'm saying other people are the life to which you provide the meaning, you see? We're wrong when we say, I think, therefore I am. The more we say it, the more it sounds like, I think, therefore I will be. You can't think your way into a full table. You can't think and make walls and a roof appear around you. I have thought and thought myself into corners made of words and nightmares. And what has it gotten me but more thoughts? A currency that only buys more currency. So please, if you want to continue existing, do something. Learn to make clouds using only your breath. Build a house, even if every wall leans to the left. Love it anyway, just like a season, just like a child. Love how you hate yourself sometimes, because at least there's still something to hate. I know how easy it can be to think and keep thinking until you are the last person left on Earth until the entire world becomes no larger than the space between your bed and the light switch. But I hear the world's ending soon. When we go, and we're all going to go, I will be part of it.